Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Thor Hammer bottle opener. This one's a bit different. You can pretty much get away with some basic tools to make this one with. Main tool is a grinder. You'll need a drill, although it all depends on what tools you've got. I'll show you how I'm going to do it. And then uh, there is obviously different ways of doing it. So, yeah, let's crack on with it then. So to start with, you're going to need a bit of 20 mil square. You can pick it up on eBay relatively cheap. I think I had a quick look and you can get like a 200 mil long piece for about a fiver. This is a piece that I've already started doing some work on at one end, but I can cut a piece off at the other end. I never got around to finishing that. So what we're going to do, we're going to cut a small section off. So we'll cut a small section off using a uh, flipping disc. So what I'm going to do on this next step, I'm just going to grind it all on all four sides, clean it all up. Right. So, I'll just give these a quick clean up. Do that on all four sides. Now what we need to do, turn it onto its edge. We need to grind a flat on each corner now. Trick is to get it even. Oh, on all four sides. So, if you can, need to get that same now on all four sides. So I'll, I'll just quickly do that and come back to it. Right. Once you've got all four your corners ground off. Then what you need to do is, if I can do it without dropping the bloody thing, you need to take off each corner. So you want on edge to be a bit of a chamfer and then you take them corners off again so let's uh, show you what I mean now this is tricky bit because you have to try and get it the same you know nice and square on all four sides so you'll notice See how that corner's not lining up in centre. We'll just keep grinding it a little bit. So this corner needs to be in centre of this corner on each side. And like an equal size round. I mean, it don't have to be perfect, but as close as you can get it would be better. Um, it'll just look a little bit better. Right, I think this will just about do it. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take I'm going to take these corners off to match up with this side, so it like follows round. So let's uh, try and. Do that now. Right. Hmm. 
Don't worry about these, we will be going over to clean it up a bit better. Now, what I'm going to do is each one of these centre sections, them triangles that you can see, I'm going to get a letter stamp that I've got, number S, number, letter S, and I'm going to just randomly stamp the letter S. Right. Don't know if you can see that. Letter S. So I'm going to just randomly squirrel all round different ways, interlocking them all. Don't have to look perfect as long as it looks like there's a pattern there. Right. So that's pretty much that end done. Right, so now we've got that, what we need to do now is draw, well, get a chisel, put a mark with chisel down here, something like that, obviously better, <laughs> better than that. It's a bit difficult to do it while I'm holding camera at the same time as it's spinning, but you get the idea. What I'm doing now is, <clears throat> if you can see, and it's difficult to see the lines that I've stamped in. What I'm doing is I'm just going on like with the corner to join the two little lines up. fact you know what it's probably better off being at this side I'll be able to see what I'm doing a bit better then we need to do is just centre pop where the hole needs to be drilled. Right there will do. Right, so if you watched my review video of this when I tried my drill bits and they were all blunt, I think I've actually found a sharp one. I do actually need to take all my drill bits to work and sharpen them, I think. So we'll give this a go. Just stick a bit of WD-40 on. See if we can get an oil put in here. Lovely. Right. So now we've got that hole in it, did run a bit off, but it don't matter, we can get it back. So the side that I put the uh, chisel marks on is the side that the handle's going into. So what we need to do now is make an end on here that we'll be able to take off a bottle. So got a bit of a design 
to cut out using grinder. So we'll crack on with that now. Right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use my slitting disc, cut down into it, and then cut across here to take a chunk out. And uh, well, best thing is, I'll just show you. If you can tell what I've done there, got a bit of a lip that's going to grab the bottle, and then that point that rests on top of the bottle pulls the cap off. Right, so now what we need to do is make the handle. Now, don't worry, you don't need three grinders, I'm just greedy. <laughs> but, for this what we're going to do is we're going to use the drill we're going to hold this in the drill and we're going to use a grinder with a grinding disc i'm going to spin the bar on the grinder and grind a section of this bar so it's big enough to fit in this hole and then what we're going to do is we're going to rivet it up on the other end so I'll just get set up for that now and uh, we'll see how that works out. I'm going to uh, just clean it a little bit first. Right. Now we need to uh, figure out how far we need to grind back. Uh, okay, about that much. Right, still got some more to go yet. What we need to do now is rivet that end up. You can actually do it cold with it being only mild steel, but because I've got it out of centre, I'm going to just uh, get a bit of heat in it just to uh, rivet it up. And have to make sure that you put it in the right way. So. I want it so you put it on the bottle like that, pull down, and it should pull the uh, the bottle top off. So we'll get set up, we'll get that, that riveted on now. Right, so like I say, you don't have to use a bit of heat, you will be able to rivet that up cold, but it is, it is obviously better just to put a bit of heat in it. Plus, I'm bloody frozen in here, so it's uh, nice just to get a bit of heat in here. You only need a light heat on it. We're only being small. It's going to warm up fairly quickly. Just 
Just gonna try and bring it over this way a little bit. So, there's not a great deal more to do on this now. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to give this one last clean just to get all this blue in off of it, make it nice and shiny again. And then I've got <coughs> some of this. Now, this is desoldering wire, it's like a wick, copper wick. It's very inexpensive. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this to wrap around the handle just to give it a nice, you know, just to finish it off nicely. Uh, do like a wrap up and a wrap down so it crosses over. I'm going to actually solder it to the handle. I think I might just trim the handle down a little bit though. Seems to be a, a touch long. So I'll just... Uh, Get that cleaned up, get that handle cut down a bit, and I'll I'll show you how I go about putting that uh, copper on. All right. So <coughs> what we're going to do now? We're going to get some of this. Hopefully, we've got enough left. I'm just going to trim that bit off because it's a bit manky. So <clears throat> I'm going to solder a piece on here, wrap it up, solder it in uh, little pieces, you know, all, all the way up and back down again. to solder up then that's one Thor hammer bottle opener right so there we have it nice little uh, simple project um, I think you know obviously you don't need a lot of tools to be able to make this. Basically, you just need a drill and a grinder. Um, you can make it different however you want, but the main main section, as long as you've just got somewhere just to pit, put them patterns on, all you need is a grinder, really, and a drill. Um, as for that end, like I say, you can, you can forge it over cold. You don't have to put any heat in it. Um, it's just I like to do it and I were a bit cold so I wanted to put my heater on a bit but uh, it does it makes a nice little uh, novelty bottle opener um, now you can obviously make a little stand for it um, I might end up just cutting a piece of wood out making it so it, it sits in the piece of wood like that uh, but as for now it's uh, I'd call that as done. So if you enjoyed watching the video, remember some more tool reviews will pop up here. You can whack this button to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.